Hello there, good morning. My name is Rocky Shelf. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to calculate your GPA using Excel 2010. Alright, let's get started. Okay, uh, here I already have some few things I had written. Let me just check them out so we could start all over again. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. All right, that's done. Okay, this uh, I'm gonna explain some few things here on Excel. So in case you're a new person on this software, this particular uh, cell, this is a cell, okay, that is highlighted and its border is black. It's called the active cell, and it has a name. The name is F7. Okay, now just around this small. Uh, small you know little corner we have a small rectangular box and it's called the drop fill box if you drag it it can you know help you do some amazing stuff example if I wrote one here went down wrote two then click the first one hold down shift and click the second one and then you know took my cursor around the drop fill two and then drag it down. Have you seen what it just did? It duplicated a sequence. All right. So that's why we're going to use the drop field tool very, very much. All right. Uh, this particular area is uh, the ribbon where we have most of the tools uh, we will use in formatting our spreadsheet. Okay. Here we're going to write spreadsheet spreadsheet for how calculating GPA all right okay now now if you observe there are different cells that are different cells so we click on the first wall the first cell hold down shift and click on the second one click on the third one click on the fourth one go to home and then come here where you have merge and center and then you click on merge cells now if you observe it's just one cell now if you go to home you can you know change the color of the background instead of white to yellow this is beautiful right then bolden it okay that's awesome that's awesome okay now we're going to calculate GPA for first semester so we're gonna write here first semester okay if you also observe this one is also two different cells I'm gonna highlight them and then uh, give it a color and then merge the cells. Beautiful and uh, you know, bolden it. First semester, I'm going to have my table looking like this. First of all, I'm gonna have serial number here. It's gonna run down to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, here I'm gonna have my course. Here I'm going to have my uh, grade, uh, my grade. I have my grade there. I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have my credit load, credit load here. Okay. Now this particular text has, you know, moved into the next cell. We're not gonna merge them this time around. We'll just come up here, click and drag it a little bit out. Beautiful. Okay, credit load. We're gonna have more distribution factor. We're going to have quality points. Okay, click this out and drag that a little bit. Beautiful. All right. Now, um, I'm gonna explain some few things. But first of all, let me input uh, courses in my hundred level. Um, I study chemical engineering, University of U. Okay, in my hundred level, uh, first semester. I offered the following courses months 111. I have a physics 111. Okay, physics 112. I did chem 111. Alright, chem 112. I also did a GRE 111. I did. Um, what else? I did GST 111 and GST 112. Okay, now the credit load for math 111 is 4, for physics 111 is 3, for physics 112 is 1, for chem 111 is 3, sorry, 
3 for K11 is 1 for J111 is 1 for Jesty is 2 and 2 all right I'm just gonna click on this drag it down go to home center line all right the same thing here click down go to home center align all right so uh assuming you just finished your first semester and then the following are your are the grades you obtained in math you had a b in physics you had an a in phase one 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 two you had a c can one one you had a c can one one two you had an a j one 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 you had a d you're not so good in drawing and then GST 111 you had uh, an A here and then in philosophy and logic you had a C alright this is a pretty good result very nice one I wish most of you I wish you this particular grade okay because this is gonna end up giving you a very very nice GPA okay so uh, I'm gonna take a little time to explain what I call by multiplication factor here I'm gonna put Something like grading system here, All right? And I, oh, my system, my spelling for system is wrong. Let me write that again. System. Okay. All right. I'm gonna click this and click this and then match the cell. Beautiful. Okay. Just match the cell. Uh oh, what happened? Okay, let's delete this. Let's delete it out. Excel, say there's a little problem somewhere. Excel, what's the problem? Okay, let's do this. Alright, let's just do it again. Grading system. Alright, if I click here, there are two different cells. So just click here, hold down shift, click here, come to home, and then match cells beautiful all right here i'm gonna have a b c d f okay the grading system says that the multiplication factor for a whenever someone has an a you have five points then you have a b it's four points you have a c is three points you have a d is two points and you have an f zero point okay so um that's what we're going to use that means for this point where you had it being at 111, you had 4 points as your multiplication factor, and then here you had 5 points, okay, and then you here you had 3 points, here you had, you know, 3 points, here you had 5 points again, you had uh, 2 points here, yeah. okay, you had, uh, here you had 5 points again, and here you had 3 points, beautiful, alright, hold down this is what I did I reached here and then I have this B cross sign then I clicked and pulled it down to the end and went to home and then you know center align my quality point is going to be a product of my credit load and my motivation factor okay so now I'm going to I'm not going to sit down and start punching my calculator to calculate this Excel already has that functionality in it uh, so what I'm just going to do is to tell it to multiplication to multiplicate to multiply sorry what's what's going on okay to multiply um, you know the first two values here that's the the first value for uh, the credit load for but 111 and its multiplication factor so what we have here is I'm going to start with an equals to sign I'm going to say equals to and then um, we're going to say this particular cell that's a cell cell D7 this one all right and then you hold down shift and press it that's times uh, this particular cell all right and then we press enter observe it gives us 16 that's correct now you don't need to keep doing that for all of these eight uh, you know courses you can just drag your drop field tool down to the end. Excel goes ahead to calculate that for you. Okay, so now we've gotten our quality point. We're going to put somewhere here, uh, we're going to put total here. Let's say total. Total. 
okay and say equals to we're not going to total the grading the grade we're going to total the credit load all right so here we're going to say equals to want to sum up all this from here down to this place 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 now we don't need to do that all we just need to do is tell excel i want to sum okay open your bracket i want to sum from cell you know cell d7 all right colon to all right to cell d14 have you seen that then close my 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 bracket then i click on enter all right excel does that perfectly it leaves it as 17 which is very correct now the same thing with this place we're going to add all this and then the answer is going to be here so we say equals to sum open your brackets and then click on this cell that's you're telling excel to add from this cell you now put your colon and then click the next cell the last uh, cell which is this one you're telling it to add from f7 to f14 excel does that perfectly you click on this and you go to home and then you highlight that just to make your you know spreadsheet beautiful okay so we have our the total our credit load totaled we have our quality points totaled okay so what we are going to do right now is to calculate our gpa gpa is equals to um is equals to our credit load credit load divided by no 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 sorry 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 is equals to our quality point quality point divided by credit load okay all right, so I'm going to click on here, click on here, click on here, and then highlight and match them as one. Okay, beautiful. Now, that's also going to be equals to, you know, that's how we do it in mathematics. Nope, let's not put it there. Let's click here and then add equals to. This is called a formula ribbon. I'll put equals to here, and it's going to change it here too. All right, so the answer is going to be here. So we're going to calculate quality point divided by total quality point uh, okay yeah let me correct that immediately total total quality point uh, let's shift this a bit shift this a bit okay total quality point okay divided by total credit load beautiful everything here is total total all right total total <laughs> wow awesome okay now we're going to calculate the gpa here we're going to say equals to i'm going to say this particular value divided by this particular value because this is our total quality point divided by our total credit loop so we're going to click on this cell and then hold down shift and press the you know make your division sign i believe you know how to do that okay all right then f16 divided by you know d16 click on enter wow i'm disappointed well i really thought that result was going to give us some very nice you know some very nice cgpa at the end why well, it doesn't okay to just make your your spreadsheet a little bit fine you could just do some few things to it do this you know bold in the color and then change the font color to white come here you could change it to something like blue then change your font color to this and then you know bold it then you could make this all these guys the same click and drag it down there okay then you give it some form of uh, you know this kind of color and then you bolden the text all right and then uh, I think we're good there. Then we come here and click on total, and then give it some form of nice color too, and then bolden it. Beautiful. Okay, so then we come here, grade, and then we say uh, bolden it. Um, come to here and do this. You know, perfect, nice. And then here as the baba or baba. Okay, we click here, and then we do that to it. And maybe we could make that white. No, white is not cool. Let's make it black. 
let's make it black uh oh it just took light okay but we're gonna finish this tutorial soon we're almost done okay now uh assuming that's my ups beeping don't be scared there's no bomb in your room okay now assuming that i have uh i just got to know that uh one of my lecturers just decided to change my results my match result the man was like wow this guy is very good in mathematics why should he have a b so he changed my match result to an a wow that simply means that my credit load is gonna my multiplication factor is gonna change to five right now click on enter have you seen what just happened my total quality point changed to 70 and then my gpa changed to 4.117 wow that's beautiful that's exactly why excel is so cool because it allows you to make immediate adjustment to documents okay without you know unnecessary uh, difficulty okay so now assuming uh, this particular lecturer just recognizes that I wasn't supposed to score uh, a D in GRE 111 and then hikes up my results to let's say a B that simply means that my multiplication factor is going to now be 4 look at what's going to happen observe my total quality point and my GPA everything is going to change click on enter wow I have 4.235 as my you know GPA all right so that that's how it's done watch out for our next video on how to calculate your CGPA which is going to be gotten when you have two results that's going to be your first and second semester thank you very much for watching this YouTube tutorial please like our video and like us also on Facebook please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much thank you thank you very much I'm so grateful thank you